Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to the Airburst Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. So today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a helmet that I did a long time ago, actually back when I was just getting started. So I'm showing this to you because I wanna show you what you can do in a relatively short amount of time. I think I was airbrushing for maybe about a year. So I wanted to share this with you. The concept was, if you didn't zip up your helmet, you're gonna lose your brains, so wear your helmet. So as unusual as it is, it's a video on how to paint a brain. So with that, let's get started. Give me some comments, good or bad. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Hit the bell so you get future notifications. Check out all my Amazon affiliate links down below with the products that I use in this video. And with that, let's get started. All right, so before we get started with the video, I wanna show you how to sketch out or draw out the brain. Now, the way somebody explained it to me one time was that intestines, brains, same things. As gross as it might sound, it's a really cool effect. All you really need to know is how to draw a C and a dot. Okay, so very simply, just start off with a C shape and draw yourself a dot. Now, you want to take the middle of that C shape, draw yourself a dot. So you got a C or a half a circle with a dot. Take that. And draw a dot. Then you're just going to continue on from this first C. Okay. And again, you're just going to keep building off. So you got this C here. So now I'm going to start right here. I'm going to come off this C shape. And everywhere you end, just put a dot. And then what you're looking for is to find approximately the center you know, how thick you want your, your intestine or your brain and place yourself a dot. Okay. So here's this dot here. Sorry, I put that dot there. Now I'm going to draw dot to dot. That's all. You can do it either way. Okay. So very simple. Very simple, very easy. It's not very uh, complicated. Um, so then I'll come over here and I'll just draw a second one. And I might have that one come right up close, draw a dot, pick the center of my C again, come around, draw a dot, and I'm just going to keep continuing. Okay, so now that's just basic side by side. Now you can make them overlap. So if you want to start them in a little bit, imagine it behind it, it comes out. Again, put your dot, figure out maybe where you might want it to go. So it looks like it's behind it. So that's basically all you need to do is be able to draw a C and a dot. And you got yourself some brains. All right, so let's move on to the painting. All right, so I'm starting off with a black helmet. I masked out the areas that I didn't want to paint. And then I sprayed a gray primer and sketched out my design. I'm using Createx paints throughout this whole project. So I started off with Yellow Wicked Detail by Createx. Then I just started sketching out my design with transparent red oxide. Red oxide is going to be the key to this design. I just keep adding more red oxide layer by layer. You want to build this in thin layers. Start putting your folds in and all of these folds basically are just little dagger strokes that really starts testing some of your freehand skills. And just keep darkening layer by layer. But once you think you got it to the intensity that you like, start adding some white highlights. And here, again, I'm just using Createx Wicked Detail White. You just want to run your highlights right through the center of, or at the top of your brains. Now that the brains are done, remove the mask. 
So looking at this design, I was trying to figure out what I can use or what it needed. So I came up with a zipper. The idea or concept that was behind it was that I wanted to look like you can zip up the helmet or unzip the helmet and look inside. Let's add the zipper. So the zipper was very tedious. I masked it off with transfer tape and cut each individual tooth out. So this step took some time and it was very tedious. Then I went back in with some white and I used some freehand to do each tooth. Then I added the pull. Now I still had a lot of hazing of the white around, but before I get to that, I added some stitching to try to make it look a little bit more realistic. Now as you can see, I went back in with some white for each tooth and added some more black in around it to try to get rid of some of the white hazing. Now there you still can see some hazing yet, but when he added the clear and melted it right in, once I added a little clear it was finished, I was really happy with it. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching.